Hey, hey, it's Aran here. In this tech tutorial, I'm going to explain to you how to change the currency of a funnel. So in case you are in my tech support membership and you are importing a funnel, which already has a set currency, which is typically US dollars. And let's say you're selling in the EU or you're selling in England and you want to use um, British pounds or euros or something like that. How to make the transition so you get the content using the correct currency. Now, this is also applicable if you actually make a mistake and you want to make a shift. Now, there's something you need to be aware of. Every funnel, you can basically have only one currency for every funnel. So if you want to have multiple currencies you're offering, you're going to need to create two different funnels and you're going to have to use order form uh, for the two different funnels. So I'll show you how to do all of that in a moment. And so I'm going to start with a simple way and then I'm going to go to the more advanced way in case you want to offer two different currencies. So I'm going to share my screen and what I'm going to do is you're going to create a funnel and I'm going to say I want to sell and I'm going to call this currency um, uh, euros, let's just say. And then you see here at currency euro and I'm going to click on save. Now when I click on this funnel, you're going to see that I have the order form and the thank you page already created. Now, what's going to happen is that you're going to choose whatever the funnel is. I'm just going to choose a random one. doesn't really matter. Click on select. And then I'm going to click on this one and choose another one, just a template for the thank you page. Okay. Now, let's just say that I am now customizing this sales page the way I want it. And this is going to be in euros, as you can see. Now, I've got a different tutorial on how to set up all the pricing plans and things along these lines, which is you go to funnel settings and you need to, you see here that you cannot actually change the currency, but you can make it so it's Stripe or PayPal or whatever it is you set up, okay? Now, here's the thing. Let's just say that I wanna change that. So how do I do that? So first of all, I'm just gonna change the name so it's labeled euros, just so I, I know what it is. I'm going to go to a new funnel. I'm going to create the new funnel. And I'm going to call this currency. Um, and then I'm going to pick the correct currency. Okay, so let's say Canadian dollars, okay? And I'm going to label that the way I want it with the Canadian dollars. dollars. So now, I'm going to go back here and then you'll notice here, I mean, I, I added some funnels. I'm just going to remove it. I'm just going to make it blank. I'm going to make this blank. I'm going to go back to funnels list. I'm going to go to the Euro currency funnel. And then here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do I'm going to duplicate this funnel once it's done. So you're going to customize this page. It's going to be perfect. You're going to customize. You're going to duplicate it. You'll see there's two pages. Now I'm going to change these to Canada. And I'm going to click on this button, move to funnel step. And I'm going to move it over to the Canada one. So this page now, now the Canada one is going to have the same order form but it's going to be in the correct currency, okay? Now, in order to obviously have it on the sales page where it says pay in Canadian, pay in, um, you know, US dollars, I'm going to grab this link. I'm going to go back to the EU funnel. And in the EU funnel, I'm going to click here on edit. And I can just do a little thing here where I'm going to add text. Really simple. And I'm going to say, want to pay in Canadian dollars. And then I'm going to bold it, click on this icon button, click here, and click on save. If you want to open in a new tab, click on here. I recommend you don't, so click on this. And then you can also customize the color like so. 
as an example, right? Now, you're going to have a scenario where you might want to have it the other way around as well. So you're going to grab the, the Euro link, go back to funnels, go back to the Canada order form. And we're pretending that this funnel is done, right? Uh, like the order page is done. I'm going to go here. And I'm going to add the text again. Right here. Want to pay in euros? Click here. Like that. Click on save. Bold it. And do the color thing again. Okay. And that way people can switch between the order form and choose which one they want. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. So let's just say I'm here and I'm like, yeah, I want to pay in euros because here you see it's in, in uh, Canadian dollars, basically. And it will go to this URL. And I say, no, I want to pay in Canadian. Click on here and it see it's going to change the URL, basically. So that's how you can choose uh, and give people options to choose in different currencies. And that's how you can also customize in case you're downloading one of my templates or something else. It will actually be able to be done. You're going to still be able to use in a different currency. So that's about it. Hope you got value from this uh, short little tutorial about the currencies. If you have any questions, let me know. In case System.io makes it easier to change the currency at some point, I'll definitely do an update tutorial. So definitely subscribe to the channel so you can be notified of new videos that I release. And if you have any additional questions for me, leave a comment below and let me know. I'll be able to record a tutorial for you on System.io. Uh, if you are new to System.io and you want to get one-on-one -on -one help with my tech support team, I actually offer that as a one-on-one -on -one bonus when you use the annual plan for the System.io. So what you can do is you can go to uh, a run.link forward slash 197 bonus. And you can actually read about my bonus when you sign up using the annual plan for system IO, which is 197 a year, which is actually cheaper what is available on their website. So check it out. Let me know if you have any questions and uh, that's about it. Somewhere around this video, you'll see a playlist with all the additional tutorials on system IO as well. You're welcome to explore those. Thanks and I'll speak to you soon.